So in this video we're going to dive into the mouse control and see how they work in strategy games. So you use your mouse in for an array of um, behaviors in strategy games. So what happens is we use the mouse, the, you know the mouse is a 2D coordinate system, So, but the complicated thing is we point in 3D space. So just so you understand this, you know, when we select a unit and right click a position in the 3D space, the unit then goes to that position. So you might see a flag uh, graphic show up to confirm you've pointed in this particular area or like an animation of arrows to say yep this character is going to move here now or even when you select an object in your tray or uh, a, a uh, building and you want to move the building around to see where you want to build it that object follows your mouse but in 3D space so you might be wondering how do we do this because the mouse cursors follows a uh, a 2D kind of coordinate system where it starts off here and then increases to the right and upwards and uh, we're going to use a bunch of functions now the first function, I've opened it up already, is screen point to ray alright so returns a ray going from a camera through a screen point so basically it starts at the near clip plane of the camera okay and then it points, you can point it to anywhere but in this case you can use the mouse Alright guys, so resulting rays in world space, starting on the near plane or the near clip plane like I said, goes through the cameras X and Y and then goes into 3D space basically. Um, so let's set up our ray cast, so that's what we're going to use, we're going to use a ray cast and I'll, I'll draw it out in the scene so you guys can see the actual ray cast as well. Alright, really important for our game, <laughs> so we can control it basically, so a ray cast hit. The Raycast hit stores a bunch of data such as the objects we hit with the Raycast and then we can access the object's collider and the name of the object and all of its properties and stuff so Raycast hit is really important. Alright so void update. So I'm going to define a ray in here, call it ray. So we're going to use that ultra important function here, so input mouse position okay so that's going to be our ray so the ray is the main camera main screen points array the mouse position so simple as that um, and we can test if it hits something by saying if physics raycast we're going to use the ray we're going to out the hits and uh, with it the next thing is the the, dis the uh, distance of the ray so I'm just going to put a thousand for now and uh, test if it hits anything. So if it does, we can say debug log, uh, and we want to log out the name of the object it's hitting. So in our scene, we want it to be the terrain. So we say hit dot collider dot name. If I can spell collider right, so hit dot collider dot name. And I think this will work as it is. So if we jump back into our scene, I've attached the script to my world object. It's just an empty game object where you can attach scripts to. Play the game. And as you can see, it's debugging out the object it's hitting, which is terrain main. All right, guys. So as you can see, it's working. Terrain main is our terrain. OK, so now I'm going to demonstrate an object following the ray. Actually, firstly, let's draw out the actual ray cast. So, even if we don't hit anything, we still want to draw out the ray. So, another debug function draw ray. Alright, so we can access the ray properties, the origin of the array, and the direction of the array, uh, the ray, sorry, times the length, so a thousand. So, again, this is a magic number. We can always we can put like a private float or an int, whatever you want guys, uh, let's call it raycast length or something equals a thousand and if you if I uh, define a private variable, so I usually start with a lowercase letter, so let's do that alright, so you don't want magic numbers, when I say magic numbers, it's just uh, you know, typed in numbers in your code, so we, we want to store it at the top so we can easily change things, so um, alright, let's start at the origin, let's draw out the, the ray and, and let's make it a colour of whatever we want really, I, I like yellow okay so another really useful function debug draw ray let's see if it works so to do this I'm gonna have to drag out the window so so as you can see a thousand's quite long <laughs> let's zoom out so yeah a thousand's pretty long but 
it's better to be safe than sorry, especially if we go up like this. Okay, so let's make it 500 actually. That was a bit too safe. But it doesn't matter, guys. It really doesn't matter at all. It doesn't take up much overhead. So the last thing I want to do is uh, make a 3D object, follow the ray on top of the terrain. So it's really easy to do. Um, let's go back to the scene. Okay, so I've got a prefab, I've got a simple object like a 3D diamond, so let's drag it in the scene and I'm going to make it, make this object follow my ray, basically. So, um, But it follows the ray at the origin, so I guess the diamond will be inside the terrain at this point. If we can find out. So the head will be poking out of the terrain, <laughs> alright. Um, and to do that, let's, what's it called? It's called target. So within our script, I can quickly put um, game object target equals game object dot find target. Okay. So, and if it's hit, and we can say if the hit dot collider, if it is in fact the terrain we're hitting, so equals equals terrain main. Okay, so just to double check, we are actually hitting just the terrain and nothing else because we don't want it to follow anything else. We can say the target dot transform position equals hit. All right, so again, we're getting all the hit information from our raycast dot point. All right, and that is the point where it hit the object. Okay, so simple as that. Um, I don't know why I did that. Sorry, guys. So. Alright, so just get reference in the game object, and uh, if we hit the terrain, we're going to make the object follow the point on the terrain on every single frame. Let's see if it works. Okay, so there we go. We can see. Let me zoom out a bit, guys. So this is the building blocks of our strategy game. We need this to work if we want to input anything, basically. So, okay, let's just do this for now go back in the scene so yeah it's following the terrain really smooth if we go right to the side it follows it right to the edge and um, everywhere in the scene so this is but the basic way things work in a strategy game so now if we want to say yeah go to this position whatever this unit is uh, we can have a little flag shop here which I'll probably do in the next video and um, that's our mouse setup sorted basically so really good and um, at the moment our terrain is flat and let me just show you guys something it's really cool um, I'm on the target object on I terrain main let's actually make our terrain a bit higher make it a bit bumpy okay so even if it's bumpy the script knows the exact point of the bump and the the diamond follows the bump at the top so there you go and as I said before the half of the diamond is intersecting the terrain because the origin of the diamond is kind of in the middle of it so we just need to change the origin of the diamond basically to the the bottom of it alright guys so that's that video out of the way in the next video we'll expand on all this functionality and uh, continue from there so thanks for watching guys um, and as a side note I'll post this code on the website when I get a chance alright so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video